Ladies and gentlemen, federal employees, if you're planning to work at all, whether part-time, full-time, whatever, if you're planning to start a business, make any money after you retire from the federal government, here are a number of things you want to watch out for so you don't lose your pensions, you don't lose anything, and your taxes aren't going crazy as well, okay? That's what we're going to dive into today. And if you are new here, so good to have you. My name is Dallin Haas, a financial planner who helps federal employees just like you retire confident. So let's dive in. Again, if you are planning to work or start a business, make money in retirement after you retire from the federal government, here are the things to look out for. Number one, earnings test. Earnings test. Some income, like your first supplement, like your social security, often get reduced if you make over certain amounts of money. Okay? And this is how it works. Your first supplement, as you know, if you retire before 62, right? If you retire before 62 with a full-blown retirement, you get the first supplement. It's an additional payment on top of your pension. We all love it. However, however, there's an earnings test for it between MRA, between your MRA, right? And 62, okay? Between those ages, there's an earnings test. And what, it, what an earnings test is, is they want to look at your income you make from non-retirement sources. If you have TSP withdrawals or pensions, whatever, they don't care about that. The only thing this earnings test cares about is non-retirement income, okay? For example, you go get a W-2 job, you start a business, make money from there. Those sort of things are the things that are gonna trigger an earnings test for your supplement and your social security. If you have rental properties or things like that, those don't count, those don't count, it's only working a job, starting a business, that sort of stuff, okay? Now, so this is how it works in a nutshell, in a nutshell. There is a, a limit that you can earn every single year from a job without affecting your supplement or social security. It's right around $20,000. It's a little more than 20,000 in 2024. It's about 20 grand, just to keep the numbers simple. You could, you could look it up right now if you want, but it's about 20 grand. If you make under 20 grand, let's say from a part-time job, you bagging groceries at Walmart to keep you busy, whatever, I don't care, whatever it is, whatever it is, you can make up to 20 grand or the limit without affecting your first supplement or social security at all. But the moment you go over that limit, for every $2, for every $2 you make over the limit, your first supplement or your social security is gonna be reduced by $1. So if you earn $2 over the limit, they're going to take a dollar from the first supplement the next, the next year, okay? If you make 20 grand over the limit, then 10,000 will be taken from your first supplement that next year. Okay? That's how it works. Now, keep that in mind, right? If you're going to make over that 20 grand, you you may lose part of your first supplement or all of your first supplement if you make way over the limit. Now, one note on social security. This earnings test applies to social security at all times until you hit your full retirement age, okay? For most of you, that's gonna be around age 67. So if you are working, most people don't wanna take Social Security until their full retirement age, at least. So if you're, let's say, retire from the federal government at 62, you can start your Social Security right then, but if you're working a job and you're making more than 20 grand, they're just gonna reduce your Social Security. So probably most people just don't take it. Most of the time, if you don't need Social Security, don't take it. Just delay until at least your full retirement age, at your full retirement age, which again, for most of you is between, is between 66 and 67, right in there. Once you hit your full retirement age, there's no more earnings test. That goes away, okay? That goes away. You can make as much money as you want. They don't care. They're not gonna touch your social security benefits, okay? So the first supplement has an earnings test between your MRA and 62. Social security has a earnings test between 62 and your full retirement age, okay? So if you're working, you don't need Social Security, just don't take it probably um, until either your full retirement age or you're done working or you need it or, or that sort of thing, okay? So that's the first thing, earnings test, keep an eye out for it for your first supplement, Social Security. The only income they care about for the earnings test is W-2, working a job or starting a business, active, working, that sort of thing. Rental properties, retirement income, pensions, TSP withdrawals, none of those things count for the earnings test. None of them do. It's just actively working income, okay? Next, next thing to think about is tax brackets. If you are getting a full retirement pension, 
um, social security, whatever, all these things, and you're working a full job, keep an eye on your tax brackets. You don't have to freak out about it. Just keep an eye on it. Keep an eye on it. Make sure you're not popping up into a tax bracket you're uncomfortable with. Again, making additional money is always good news, right? Even if you do go up in the higher tax bracket, um, just keep an eye on it, okay? Just keep an eye on it so you know where you're at. Next is Medicare. If you didn't know already, what you pay in Medicare Part B premiums is based on your income. And it's a two-year look-back period, okay? So you look two years back and say, what income did you make? For example, right now it's 2024, right? They would look back at 2022 and say, hey, what did John Smith make in 2022? That's what we're going to base his Medicare premiums on. So depending on your income, your Medicare premiums may be higher than they otherwise would be. So keep in mind, just, just keep an eye on it. If you don't know what these are, just type in Medicare Part B premium brackets and you'll find a chart online that'll walk you through, hey, if your income is this, this is what your premium would be. Check that out. If you Just get familiar with it and keep an eye on it just to make sure you're not close to anything uh, that you're not aware of, right? So long story short, if you're going to work in retirement, great. I think that's amazing. That'll only help your retirement success. It'll help your money last longer. It'll, it'll help so many things. Just keep an eye on this. Keep an eye on the earnings test for the first supplement, Social Security. Keep an eye on your tax bracket. Keep an eye on your Medicare bracket just to make sure there's no implications that hit you that you're not comfortable with and, and those sort of things. So I hope that's helpful. If there are any follow-up questions, there's actually a link in the description below. If you have more questions about this or anything else federal benefit related, you can submit that via the link below and we base our future content on those questions we receive. So I hope that's helpful. Have an incredible rest of your day. I'll see you guys next time.